Hey, it's Ryan from Muffet Supply, and in this video, we're gonna be unboxing an American Van shelving unit. Let's get into it. All right, this is a first for me. I've never uh, unboxed or had my hands on an American Van shelf, so I just wanted to order one of these and see what it's like so we can evaluate it here for you and give you an idea of what you get when you order an American Van shelving unit. Um, this did ship to me via UPS um, and surprisingly the box is in pretty good condition considering the weight of this. This comes in at 64 pounds so it's pretty heavy uh, unit. Um, now American Van, they're kind of the original uh, direct to consumer manufacturer of shelving. So most shelving brands out there they will, they're manufacturer and they sell to uh, upfitters or installers, or they may sell to distributors or other retailers, and then you would buy the product from them. American Van cuts out all those uh, distribution channels and they just sell direct to, you know, your plumbers, uh, electricians, so on, the van owner, if you will. And so they're kind of the original to do that. Uh, been a lot around for a long time, and so I think they probably had to figure out the packaging aspect of how to get a shelving unit to one of their customers without a bunch of damage. So um, I am impressed so far just with how good of a condition the box is, especially shipping via parcel carrier. A lot of times with heavier objects, you'll have to put it on a pallet just to avoid damage. But I've just unboxed some other shelving units that came in pretty bad shape um, and they were shipped on a pallet. So um, I'll give them credit for, uh, for this one on the, the packaging. So, shoving the, this up here, we have some dunnage, some plastic wrap, and it looks like this, this does have some ability to shift in the box. You know, I put that out of frame, but you see this cavity of space right here. Anytime you have open space in a box, that's where stuff could shift during transit, and there's nothing really here preventing this from shooting through the end of the box. So, I'm actually surprised that, you know, there wasn't more damage from that because there is a little bit of space in there. There's no dunnage here to keep it in place. Um, so the plastic rack must have done pretty well. Um, so here we have just a basic, I believe this is a shelf, pretty deep here. Um, just some quick measurements for you. You know, this is a little shy of 16 inches. They'll probably call it a 16 inch deep shelf, 15 and three quarters though. And it is 30, just shy of 39 inches wide. Um, quite a bit of depth here. You have three inches of, of depth, you know. But some of you can mount the shelf like this where you so you have kind of that cradle, if you will, or you can mount it flush if you need to mount a, uh, you know, a plate to it or something like that. Or accessories, you can mount it this way or this way. Not 100% sure. We are gonna be doing an assembly video of this shelving unit, so be sure to watch that if you want more specifics how the assembly goes with this shelving unit. So it looks like we have one of these over here. Got some nice paper in there to protect scratching and paint scuffing, which I'm not seeing on here at all, really. This is like a lighter powder coat gray finish. Again, this is steel. Um, two of these units here. Bubble wrap. Looks like we have, maybe this is a shelf lip or a back or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Then we have our end panels. There's a little bit of a scratch on here, but not too bad considering. So this is one of the end panels. This is gonna be the end of the shelving unit. It's tapered at the top to allow for the contour of that roof line there so you can maximize the height of the shelf. No holes in the side, which is interesting. You have all their holes in the front. Looks like we have some square holes here uh, for potentially carriage bolts. Have some holes in the back as well. Some type of deal, some square, some rounded. And then, of course, we have our holes on the bottom for mounting to the floor. Um, open end cap design, so there's no, doesn't bend over the top, so it kind of limit storage space there. And then we do have hardware here. We'll look at this last. 
Looks like we do have a narrower shelf here. This is because it's a tapered shelving unit. It gets narrower at the top. You know, there's only a 13 and a half inch deep shelf for the top. This is over here. And then finally, we have our other end panel. Same thing, these are side specific, so you have a left side and a right side. Um, again, no holes or anything on the sides, just on the front and back. It's interesting. And that's everything inside the box, so let's go ahead and open up this hardware kit. So, we do have bracketry. This is probably gonna be used for attaching the shelving unit to the van. We do have a full installation guide here, it looks like. It shows you what the final product looks like. It shows you the parts list, or generic parts list, because this looks like it's kind of for all, all 44 inch high standard contour shelf modules. So this covers a lot, so there's not an exact parts list. Shows you how to assemble it and how to attach it to the van. Also shows you how to set a plus nut, which is nice. Uh, so I'm assuming we have here our hardware for assembling this shelf. So this, these end panels and the shelves themselves don't have any kind of welded in nuts like some of the shelving brands do. So you're dealing with uh, bolts, lock washers, and nuts to assemble this. Uh, so it is a little bit more of a process for the assembly, um, but you do get all the hardware here to assemble the shelf. Then we looks like we have our separate hardware kit for attaching the shelving unit to the van. So we've got our spacers, we've got our bolts, we've got our um, plus nuts and you know, washers. We do have some lock nuts in here as well. I do not know. Well, it looks like they do have a plus nut setting tool in here. They, they use a little bit different plus nut where you kind of get this here. It's not a full circle. I don't know if you can see that better up top here, but it's not a full circle uh, round like a lot of plus nuts are. So they give you this tool here. You can kind of see this fits into the, the plus nut and that's gonna hold it in place. And then you're gonna put probably this long bolt in here and you're just basically gonna torque on this bolt and it's gonna flatten this plus nut and give you a nice crimp on a piece of sheet metal. So that's great that they give this to you. Again, you know, American Van, they're the kind of the direct to end user, direct to consumer brand. So they give you everything. They're, they're not selling this to installers, they're selling it to people who are gonna install it themselves. So they give you everything that you need for the assembly as well as the installation in the van. Some more brackets here. This is just gonna work with these little brackets to mount to the side of the van. So everything that you need here for assembly and installation, installation guide, all the products, your basic shelving unit. Now that just about does it for the unboxing of this American Van shelf. If you're looking for any equipment to upfit your van so that it's work ready, be sure to check us out at upfitsupply.com. Again, my name is Ryan and have a good one.